Hey guys, as you may know, here at Poplar Healthcare, it's all about science. And today we'll be discussing COVID-19. In this video, you will learn how to test yourself for COVID-19 and the process your test will go through to get your results. When testing for COVID-19, the first thing you'll need to do is collect a sample from your nose with the swab included in your test kit. To get a good sample for our lab, you'll need to insert the swab into your nose about a half an inch deep and carefully rotate the swab about four times inside each nostril, like this. Place the swab inside the tube and break off the top piece so that the tube can now be sealed. Cover it up and you're good to go. Now that you've done a nose swab correctly, your collected specimen comes into our lab in a tube where we can scan and label it so we can keep track of it in the lab. We register your information in our Lab Information System, or LIS for short. From there, another label is printed, which has our lab access code on it. This is a unique number that each patient will get. Before we continue, let's check in with one of our techs here on the lab floor. My name is Kanshay Reese. I am a COVID molecular technologist. The most important part of my job is to be very detail-oriented and responsible to ensure that everything goes the way it should. The coolest thing about my job is being able to pipe it and mix the reagents to put it all together to make the machine run and being able to see the results come out fine and knowing that I did it correctly and I'm helping. Thanks, Cache, for sharing that with us. We think what you do is pretty awesome and important too. The next step after labeling is to go through a cleaning process. It goes into a hood station where a small amount of the sample is extracted from the specimen and placed into another barcoded tube. From there, these tubes go onto a separate rack, ready to be placed onto the processing platform. At this lab, we use a few different machines to process COVID specimens, but today we are highlighting the Roche Cobas 6800. Let's hear from Jose, who has experience working with this machine. My name is Jose Perez. The coolest part about being at the lab is like just suiting up overall, like putting your lab coat, you know, your gloves. Just pretty neat to me because you don't really see that outside of the lab. So it's just like coming in here and seeing that is just like, it's like the craziest thing ever, you know, but it's completely normal in here. I can pretty much tell you how to run our Cobos machine from beginning to end or our Panther machine from beginning to end. And it kind of was like a training experience, but overall, like now I'm just a pro at it. My advice, for like the 10 year old that wants to go into the science field is, uh, well, I struggled in science for the most part during my elementary like, years. And then in the middle school, I kind of pushed myself to become better. And then overall now I just love and pursue science. That is my everyday life. Thanks, Jose. We're so glad you're here to help the lab function so well. Okay, back to the Cobos 6800. It's a high tech machine filled with robotic arms, scanners, and moving tracks. And it's all designed to read the barcode on each vial so it properly locks the sample into a manifest. The Cobos uses special chemicals. These chemicals cause a reaction to occur that makes millions of copies of a small portion of the coronavirus's genetic material. One of the chemicals produces a fluorescent light if COVID is present in the sample. Our lab requires lots of professionals who are really good at their job, like our Jerry. Well, my name's Arjeri Marin. I'm actually a med tech, so every time that we get a sample that comes into this lab, I make sure to handle them and take care of them by performing a test that's going to be able to go onto a machine and tell us if you had tested positive for whatever we're testing you for that day. So what really got me interested in science is technically a little backstory. I come from a different country. Learning English was kind of hard for me for a while. And so what stayed the same was math and science. Even though I changed different countries, um, it never changed. And I was able to um, attach to that and keep growing with that. So one of the processes that I do is um, called the ABC COVID machines by code. And in that route, I have to use a method call where we add beads and lysis, and we also add PK. 
And so I combine all three of those items also with an internal control and I make a kind of like a concoction, kind of a cool mix. And I just really enjoy that part that my work has made something cool and I get to see the change in the chemical reaction of that part of my work. Thanks, our Jerry. We love hearing that science helped you when you moved to the U.S., all the way from Costa Rica. Okay, we're almost done with our lab work. The Cobalt 6800 takes about four hours to produce the final results of each sample. And once the run is completed, a licensed medical technician reviews the instrument's report. If everything checks out, that technician releases the run. Results are then ready to be viewed by the patient or the patient's doctor. Mia is one of our incredibly smart application scientists who helps us with all the important research we do here at the lab. Mia, what would you say is the coolest part of your job? Probably the coolest thing about my job is I get to play with a lot of robots. So we have robots that do liquid handling for us. So instead of doing everything by hand, you get to program a robot to do exactly what you would want it to do. And that's always really fun too. So um, working with mechanics is really great. That's amazing. We can't wait to see all the good work you do. Thank you. And thanks to all our techs and scientists who make all the tests and research we do both possible and quite fun. Till next time. <laughs>